Hello everyone, welcome to the first video on architectural concepts which is very important when you uh, design an architect and I have seen uh, confusion, a lot of confusion in between HA, high availability, fault tolerance. So I have wrote this blog a uh, couple of months back. I just wanted to create this video so that I could make a difference between H and FD and it could help people who wants to learn what is what actually is the difference between HA and FT okay so if we talk about HA it is more like not removing failure but the ability to recover from it uh, we can try to understand high availability with this example I'll give more examples later but let's start with this one suppose you're riding a bike and your tire gets flat you cannot recover out of this failure but if you're riding a scooter where we used to have a stepney or extra tire or a car where you have an extra tire you can just stop it and change your car or change your tire and get back to your path so you see in this situation there was the failure but we recover out of it because we have an extra tire it is more like active and passive so HA is not to remove the failure but the ability to recover from it it is like minimizing the outage or downtime by correcting the fault it doesn't mean you never have issue but you take steps to minimize availability issues or to recover from it if you want to at this example there's another example you're putting a VM in the auto scale okay and if VM gets crashed it will again create the VM auto scaling but there would be a little downtime while the other one is getting created okay or you can take this example you have your application can run on a single VM okay but to make your system highly available what will you do you create one more VM and put it as a shutdown so that you need not to pay the charge for that VM and if something happens to VM 1 you turn on the VM 2 and get back to your work it is more like there is a downtime there was the failure but you recover out of it you tried the minimum availability uh, issues minimize the availability issues or recover from it and <clears throat> There are uh, situations or applications where fault is not acceptable at all, like medical emergencies or e-commerce and other life and death scenarios. In that case, you can't afford downtime or issue, but you would have plan ready to, you know, to uh, go through the failure, where we cannot repair or recover from failure but we can do an emergency landing okay it is more like if I could give the example or let's elaborate the first example where you have the uh, one VM at shutdown and one VM is active that is active passive scenario in fault tolerance here it would be active and active scenario you would have a load balancer you would have the VMs behind it in multiple zones and all the VMs were will be running okay so your app can easily run on single VM so you are not keeping another VM shut down but you're keeping all the VMs running it's an active active situation okay so fault tolerant means it's already highly available but in fault tolerance uh, it's a multiple redundancies and it's generally running active active configuration and it's more expensive than HA okay so if we can give you the example we opt for fault tolerance where the downtime or fault is not affordable because of the criticality of the application or the software or 
the situation. For example, if we talk about uh, airplane, we cannot afford a fault in between the air, right? So we have extra engines in place. And we do the emergency landing if something comes out there, if there is a fault and your system cannot bear that fault. We utilize that uh, engine and we do the emergency landing, right? But we, we cannot, uh, you know, stop in between the air. It's more like those kind of applications. So there is a difference in fault tolerance and HA hope. You get it now and fault tolerance is always more expensive than HA. So let's talk about uh, disaster recovery. It is more like nothing worked, neither HA or FT. Then you need to recover from the disaster, those kind of plan. It's a separate process designed when nothing worked, but you managed to take uh, your critical data. Uh, Previous situations where recovery from failure operating through failure, but DR is about protecting critical system data so that you can use that to create new working system in case of DR. So here, this thing is making the continuity of the current situations, but if these did not work, then we have DR plan in place where we protect the critical system data and use that to create a new working system in case of DR. All right, it is more like uh, one zone is totally down, but you have another DR in place that we do with the help of ASR. Everything is replicated to a different region in the cache storage. And if something happens to region A on region B, we create those VM out of the storage with the help of Azure Site Recovery. That's what the DR is. And in DR, we do have two concepts of RPO and RTO, which is very important. We'll talk about these concept in next video. This is the first video on architectural concept and we talked about HA and FD. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good learning today. Have a good day. Bye-bye.